Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about prepositions. Overview. A preposition is usually a short word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Have a look at the example over here. If I'm not mistaken, her birthday is in May. The preposition in is used in the sentence to link the noun May to birthday. Her birthday. Note that prepositions do not change their form. Have a look at the example over here. I want what to go where to the movies. Meaning that I had a desire to go to the movies. Now, prepositions can consist of one, two, or more words. Have a look at the examples below. Josh went to the club instead of studying for his exam. There was a huge traffic in front of us. Now, prepositions can be divided into the following categories. A. Prepositions of place state the position or location of one thing with another. Have a look at the example below. Kate works at Starbucks. The preposition at tells us where Kate works. B. Prepositions of time denote specific time periods. For example, we usually go to our relatives at Christmas. Christmas is a specific time period. And at is used to denote this time period. C. Prepositions of direction or motion indicate movement from one place to the other. As in the example below, there's a great pub across the street. The preposition across tells us where the pub is and how to get there. D. Prepositions of manner express the manner in which something is done, as in the example below. You can't achieve success by doing nothing. The preposition by expresses the manner in which success is achieved. And it's not by doing nothing. E. Prepositions of cause, purpose, and reason indicate why, what for, or because of what something happens. Have a look at the example below. She couldn't attend the meeting due to some family issues. Now the prepositions due to tell us why she couldn't attend the meeting. 